Hi guys and welcome to this Divi WordPress theme tutorial. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignandTechTips.com. Well today we're just going to put, over, put together this overlapping column section. Now it's a nice little effect to have, really easy to achieve, especially with the Divi theme here. Now if you're building any sort of WordPress site at all, I do suggest you give Divi a look. It's just fantastic, the features keep getting better and better and the ease of use just keeps getting better and better. I've literally built hundreds of sites with it and it's my go-to theme every time. If you want to take it for a test drive, you can do so from a, an affiliate link below this video. So let's start building this. What I'm going to do is enable the visual builder, which is another great feature that lets us build everything on the front end. And let's just delete this section that I've got here. Here's the section. Hit the little trash icon. Now that's gone. So let's add a new section. Little blue button there. Regular section. I'm going to give it two columns. You can do this with three or four or however many you like. And by default, Divi comes with all these gray modules here. The colored ones are actually third party modules but Divi gives you more than enough to get started with. So I'm going to put an image here on the left and I'll just select the first image I see, which happens to be the one I just used. Okay, so there's one. And our next one, just hit the little black button to add a new module. And I'll just use a blurb. I'm not going to change the text, image and icon. Use the icon, and by default, Divi comes with all these icons built in already. So I'll put a little check mark there. There it is. And let's give it a colored background so we can discern it from the background of our page here. So on the content tab, just go to background. I'm just going to go ahead and make it blue. Perhaps a little bit darker than that. I'm going to go to the design tab, make our text light colored so we can see it. Also going to center it, align it to the center or the middle. And where it says dark there, I'm going to change that to light. There we go. Now I want to add a bit of padding around the inside there so we've got some space to work with. So again, the design tab, down to spacey. And let's give it 60 pixels all around. Just have to put the first one in, hit the link button, it'll do the second, top or bottom. Same with the left and right. Hit the little link icon, there we go. It's great, and let's actually give this one a little bit of box shadow. I guess we can do that to that image too. So close up the spacing, down to box shadow. There we go, just give it a bit of box shadow there. I'll do the same on this one. And so we've got our two columns there, two regular columns, that looks fine. But like I said, perhaps we wanna overlap this one and have it over the top of this one here, just for interest value. Very easy to do. And we'll do that with spacing and we'll be using some negative margins. And what a margin does, it pushes an item left or right, or left or right, <laughs> up or down. And if you use negative values, you can have little sections overlapping each other. Now you can do this with margins. You can't do that with padding, which gives, it, gives us the space either internally or externally, but let's, let's go down to our design. I'm on our blurb, design. Go down to spacing. I'll just move this out of the way just so we can see what we're doing here. Okay, well this one, let's push it down with a regular margin. So I'm gonna make it 100 pixels lower. As you can see, it's dropped down there. Now I wanna pull it across so it's on, on top of this one a little bit. So I want it, about a hundred pixels to the left. 
So with the left margin, I'm going to give it a negative value, minus 100. There we go. And as you can see, it's overlapped our image there, which is kind of exactly what I wanted. So that's just where I want it to go. Okay, it's kind of hard to tell, but this one, it's not going to be central now because we've sort of offset this to the left. So we really want to offset that image to the right to sort of balance it all out and make it still look central. And again, we'll do that with margins. I'm going to just go hover on the module, go to the cog, we'll go to spacing. Let's move this out of the way so we can see what's going on. All right, don't want any margin at the top. Do want to push it over to the right. So if I take the right border and give it a negative margin, it should pull it over to the right. But what it's going to do with this image, it will make it larger as well, I imagine. Let's say minus 100. Oops. Make sure I get the minus in front of there, so it's negative value. There we go, and it's pushed it over, but it's also made it fill all of this space here. And I'm going to get rid of show space below the image. And what I'm going to do, so I'm going to put 100 pixels on the left side, just to offset it, to push it this way, so the image will stay the same width. There we go. So we still got the original size there. Now let's save. I've saved that. Hit the little purple button. Save the changes in the visual builder and exit. I think the last thing I want to do, I want to actually give this row here, which is the green section, a bit of padding on the bottom. So it's not sitting on top of the section below it as we push this one down. So um, let's give it a margin on the bottom of, say, 100 pixels. Save that. And again, save. And now we'll exit our Visual Builder. Got the check mark. Exit the Visual Builder. And there's our section. That last little bit was just the space I gave it below here. But there we have it. We've got two overlapping little columns there. Quite an effective little trick. Very easy to do with some CSS or some visual margin adding with the Divi theme here. So I hope you found that useful. If you have, please like, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Like I say, if you want to try out the Divi theme, you can do so from my affiliate link below the video here. If you're interested in web development, take a look down below. We've got some great free courses down there, as well as some premium courses with some huge discounts for our YouTube subscribers. So do check it out. Once again, this has been Jamie with System22 and WebDesignerTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.